Okay, I'm gonna tell you his name one time and then you tell me at when we start to talk about the story if you can remember his silly name. Are you ready? Okay. His name is Rumpelstiltskin. Oh. <laughs> Do you know oh. the story? <laughs> All right, well, we are going to talk about that story. We're going to act it out. We're going to change the story up a little bit, though, okay? So make sure that you have some space all around you. For our warm-up today, we're going to do our magic elevator dance. So make sure you have something to sit on every time we go back to our magic elevator. I'm just going to use a yoga mat. You can just sit on your floor. You can sit on a pillow or on a chair, but just make sure you have a space around it to dance, okay? Nope. All right, when we do our elevator dance, we're gonna sit crisscross applesauce. Let me show you. really well and then we'll go into a couple of things to work at the bar and get you guys really strong so that when we come back to the studio you guys are strong dancers all right sit up show me that good posture find my song for us okay here we go there's the elevator. Okay, sit up tall. Shoulders back and down. Tell me the elevator. Tap your knees to the feet. Michael Silver, Michael Claire. When does our second sign go for a ride? Press the button once. Once. Going to the first floor. Thank you. 
Okay, so we'll get behind my back for you. When you're holding your arms in first position, I want you to pretend, <coughs> excuse me, that you are holding a ball like this. Okay, and watch what happens when I drop the ball. Look. Oh, did you see how my elbows stayed there? They didn't droop, right? So everybody show me your arms like you're holding a round, a big round ball. Oh, good, Maddie found a ball. You don't really need a ball for this, but I don't want your elbows to droop. So Maddie, since you're holding that ball, yeah, drop it and see how your elbows stay there? Good, okay, so think about holding that, those elbows up. You're using these muscles in, the, in your back to hold your arms nice and round. All right, hey, let's try it with the music. All right, stand, stand and face your bar or your chair or face me with one hand on your support. Let's do that good posture. Stand up tall. Ready? Here we go. Plie and stretch. Feet are together. Up and down. Plie, stretch. Up and down. Toes are pointing forward. This one we're going to stay. Ready? Go. Let go. One, two, three, and down. Again, plie and stretch. Elevate. from first position. Let's see. We're going to do a demi point, demi close, and two more tendu. Okay, show me your best first position. Glue your heels together. Okay, stand up super duper tall. Okay, make sure that you are, <clears throat> oh, wait a second. I have a surprise for you. You wanna see what my surprise is? I brought a couple friends to class today. Do you want to meet them? Mr. Smiley Face <laughs> and his wife, Mrs. Smiley Face. <laughs> Do you see my heels? All right, here. They have, I have to be able to see your heels, okay? And I want to see your nice turnout. So don't really draw on yourselves, okay? I used a Sharpie. I don't think mom and dad would want you to draw on your heels. But I want you to pretend that you have Mr. and Mrs. Smiley Face on your heels. So can you put two little eyes and a nose like Mr. Smiley Face? He always likes to wear a hat. And then Mrs. Smiley Face on the other heel. She has a bow. Can you see her? She has a bow and she has eyelashes and some hair. <laughs> okay, so let me show you why I do that because it's kind of silly, right? to the front, to the side, and to the back. I have to be able to see the inside of your heel, okay? So I'm going to do a demi point, do you see my heel? And a full point, and a demi point, and then I'm gonna drag it back. Jason, are you good? No, I didn't see one on the top of the Oh, um, by the door. Did you, yeah. By the door here. Okay. I think it's just hanging there by the door, on the top maybe? No, I'm in his costume. Okay, so guys, watch. Demi, point, 
demi, and then my pinky toe comes back first. Okay, make sure I don't see this, where you put your heel back first. Pinky toe has to slide back. You got it? Okay, and then same thing to the side. Drag it in, make sure I can still see your heel. And then to the back, demi, point, demi, and then drag it in. You got it? Okay, hold on one second. You guys hear our combination when you go derriere you do your demi i need to see this demi point okay and then we're going to do two more tendus and then we're going to rise up and balance oh, oh wait a second i forgot i'm going to make it harder for you are you ready i'm going to have you lift up one leg and we're only going to do four slow elevates on one leg Push up your arch as high as you can. After number four, come back down, and then we try the other leg, okay? So our combination is one slow tanu, and then two a little quicker, okay? Front, side, back, and then lift up one leg, and do four elevates, and then we go to the other side. All right, I'll do it with you. Here we go. All right, stand up, first position, everybody. Open up those toes. All right, now pull your tummies in. Squeeze those rotators on the side. Are you ready? Pull your knees up so they're nice and straight. All right, make sure all 10 toes, you see my toes? I see I'm wiggling them. Make sure they're all spread out in your shoes. All right, let me see who's ready. Show me your biggest piece of pizza so you can really turn out. There you go. But make sure you're not turned out so far that if you let go of the bar, you're going to fall. Everybody let go. Test your balance. Can you let go? Simone, I'm waiting for your first position. All right, here we go. Ready?
need you guys to be the teachers for a minute. You either give me thumbs up or thumbs down, okay? All right, a couple of you, I can't see your feet. So I don't know if you're really pointing your toes. Maddie, can you angle your camera down a little bit? And same with Elena and Aurelia. I can't see your feet. Can you angle your camera down or your, just so I can see your feet? Elena and Aurelia, can you angle? Yeah, there you go, Maddie, that's good. Okay. Yeah, if you move actually the chair to the side, that'd probably be easier for me to see. There you go. Then you can just either put one hand on your bar or your chair, um, and the other hand on your hand. Okay, we're going to let you be the teacher for a minute. So you tell me if this is a really good time to you. Thumbs up. If it's not good, thumbs down. Are you ready? All right, here's my first time to you. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Everybody vote, what do you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Oh, if you're saying thumbs down, you are correct. Watch, I'm gonna fix it. Do you see how now you can see my heel, Mr. Smelly Face? Yes, that is good. Okay, let me trick you again, or try to trick you. Okay, are you ready? Here's my other one. Thumbs up or thumbs down? What do you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Oh, if you said thumbs down, you are correct. Here, I'm going to fix it. Make sure the heel is pushing forward. My knee should really be facing out to the side, not forward. That's good. All right, one more hard one. Are you ready? Here we go. Thumbs up or thumbs down? What do you think? <laughs> Simone saying thumbs down. Uh-oh, it is actually a good time, dude. This would be thumbs down. This is thumbs up. I'm so rotating. See how you can see my heel? That's good. You want to be able to see your heel. Okay, all right, good job. All right, now we're gonna make it a little bit harder. We're gonna do fifth position. So let's make sure that we know our toes are always out. Are you ready? Okay, so I want you to go to your first position. Ready? Make your feet match mine. All right, time to do Alice to go to the side. Okay, watch, you're gonna cross Bring, drag this heel in front of your other foot. That is our fifth position. Okay, and you wanna make sure that you're hiding your back foot, right? And our toes are always out, not in. This is bad. This is good. So our toes are always out. So Henry, if you're confused, go back to first position. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is take one of your legs and just slide it. Keep it still pointing out, but hide the foot. Hide your toes of the back foot. Yes, Simone? I have a loose tooth. Okay, but please don't interrupt class to tell us that, okay? If we need to tell me some fun stuff like that, I really want to know, but tell me at the end of class, okay? All right. Are we, do we all have our toes out? Not in? <laughs> You're gonna hurt your knees if you do that. Okay, let me see. Hold your fifth position. Simone, make sure I can see your feet. All right, Maddie, can you turn your chair to the side, sweetie? So I can see your feet, cause you're, yeah, there you go. And now face your chair. Good, Henry, you got your heels together. Very nice. Open up your biggest piece of pizza there, Maddie. Okay, and now what you're going to do is take your foot here in first, just slide it across. If it's too hard to put it all the way in front of your big toe of your other foot, you can go to what we call third position, which is just right in the middle of your foot. Okay? Oh, Henry's dog came to ballet class today. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to cross it over as far as you can. Now, I want you to imagine that every time you're Legs are closed like this. 
um, I have given you a $100 bill and you're going to put it right here between your legs. You're going to squeeze them super tight. Okay, so every time you come back, you really pull up those muscles, really contract your muscles and squeeze those thighs together, okay? All we're gonna do is one time to devon to the front. Make sure I can see that smiling face on your heel. Everybody, time to show me. And you're gonna lift, see if you can lift and point as hard as you can. Keep showing, keep pretending that you have like a little teacup on that heel and you're lifting it up. Would you like some tea? And then bring it back down and then you're gonna close it in. All we're gonna do is one to each direction. Try it, I'll stick on to the side. Time to side. And lift. Uh-oh, here's the hard part. Can you let go? That's hard to do. Time to. Simone, where's your chair? <clears throat> yep, and then close it back. And then time to back. And lift. And see if you can let go. Time to do and down and then watch. Plie, susu. Squeeze your hundred dollar bill really tight. And then you're gonna come down with a plie and stretch. All right, now listen. If you don't have a bar, that is fine. If you want, maybe I will just do it with my chair so I can show you. So I would rather see your feet. Can you just have one hand on your chair and face me? And you can put this other hand on your hip. Okay, be a mirror of me and go to your best fit position. Are you guys ready to try this? We're gonna try it on both sides, but we're not gonna move around. We're just gonna keep one hand on our chair and really focus on our legs and our feet. This is our um, second to last bar exercise, and then we'll do some fun stuff in the center and I've got fun story to tell you. Are you ready? Okay, show me your fifth position, Rowan. Okay, Maddie, can you face me? Just leave your chair where it's at. There you go. And some of you have your chair on the other side. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which side, okay? But just make sure that you're gonna do, use both feet. Are you ready? Okay, put your right foot in front. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, hand on your waist if you have one hand on the bar, or you can have both hands. Ready? Fifth position, time to front. One, two. Ready? Lift and lower. And time to, and then keep each of slides back. Ready to the side. standing up before we stretch. Move your bar or your chair out of the way. That's confusing us too much. All right, go to your best first position. Are you guys ready? All right, keep making sure that Mr. and Mrs. Smiley Face are facing forward. And we're going to do what we call a degage. We're gonna pretend we have some sticky bubble gum on our feet. We're gonna brush it off. Are you ready? 
hands on your waist, we're going to do a little pattern. We're going to do four on the left, four on the right, two, two, one, 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 one. All right, you have to really use your strong tummy muscles and use these rotators on the side of your body. Are you guys ready? Here we go, stand up tall. Show me you're ready, open up those toes. Where'd Henry go? We lost him. Here we go. Ready? Rush and in. Rush and in. Rush and in. Rush. Other side. Go. Brush free. And in. Brush free. Put your hands in your hips. Brush free. And in. Brush free. Now two. Out. And in. Reach it and pull yourself 
dance and then I'll tell you our fun story and you guys can help me act it out okay all right here we go go over to one side one of the sides where you come in let me find my dancing shoes okay Hold on one second, everybody. All right, remember when you march in, high knees and pointed toes, hands on your hips, okay? When we do that ton plie, make sure you do a big plie in the center. And then every time we do our PKs or our arabesques, really point those toes. All right, here we go, dancers. Stand up tall.
Notice something. Some of you were not doing a leap or what we call a grand jeté. Do you have something in your room that you can put in the middle of your space that we can leap over? I'm gonna find something too. Everybody go get something. All right, guess what I'm gonna use? I have some cups. I'm gonna use some cups. Do you have something that you're gonna put down? Okay, make sure it's not super big because I don't want you to trip on it. So something small, okay? Okay, put out, put your object down right in the center of your space. That was kind of big, Maddie. I don't know if you'll trip over that. I hope not. Okay, so yeah, Maddie, that might be too big, honey. I think it has to be something little. <laughs> something smaller. Okay, when you do a grand jeté, you need to have your front leg straight as it goes over. Oh, I kicked my foot over. <laughs> Don't kick over your object. Okay, you need to brush. Remember how we did those degages at the bar when we were brushing our toes and getting that gum off of our shoes? Watch me. You brush over. See how this leg is straight? My toes are pointed. And then when I go over, I have to stretch my back leg too. Do you notice that? Okay, here we go, ready? Stand up tall, stand behind your object. I want you guys to do this slowly, like we are in super duper slow motion. Okay? <laughs> All right, stand up tall. Elena and Aurelia, you need your own object. Because we're gonna do this Real slow. Are you ready, Adele? You need to be able to see your object, people. Okay, watch me. We're gonna brush over. Do you see how my leg is straight? Can you do this? Point your toes. Are you here with me? And then go over and stretch your back leg. Stretch it, stretch that knee, yes! Okay, you have to stretch both legs. Okay, a little bit faster, it looks like this. Point, point, stretch your back leg. Let's try it on the other side. You have to be able to do a grand jeté on both sides. Are you ready? Brush over, let me see it slow, slow motion first. Point your toes, get your knees straight. Show me, Maddie. And then go over and stretch your back leg. Point, point hard, and then this leg's in a plie. You have to bend. All right, do that side a little faster. Uh-oh, back up. This one we're gonna run on our toes. Ready? Round your arms when you run. Ready? Go. Run and leap. Did you do it? Did you point your back foot? Did you stretch that knee? Awesome job! Yay! Okay. Hey, let's move on. Would you guys like to hear our funny story now? Okay. You have to help me act it out. Okay? All right. Our story starts on a farm in a far, far away land, back in the time where there were kings and queens. Okay, let me find our story music here. Okay, does anybody remember what the name of that silly little man was? <gasps> I told you at the beginning of class to remember it. It was kind of a silly name. Okay, are you guys ready? 
Once upon a time, there was an old man and he lived on a farm and he didn't have very much money, but he was happy and he lived with his beautiful daughter. Her name was Penelope. Well, one day he was out working on his land and a horse came galloping by. Uh-oh, everybody stand up. Show me how to gallop like you're on a horsey. Ready? Gallop. Good job, I see some good galloping. Okay, on that horse was a king. And the old man said to the king, please stop, I have something important to tell you. I have a beautiful daughter, her name is Penelope, and she is a ballet dancer. And when she dances, magical things happen. Like, she can dance, on a bed of straw and turn it into gold. <gasps> oh my goodness, the king was so excited to hear this. He said, well, I must meet your daughter. And he calls out Penelope. And she comes out and she says, well, hello. And he says, I would like for you to show me your magic powers about how when you dance, you turn that straw into gold. And she didn't really know what he was talking about because I think she thinks maybe her father is going mad because she doesn't know how to turn straw into gold. But she agrees to go with the king. So he takes her to a castle. And in this room is a big pile of straw. And he says, okay, I want you to turn that straw into gold. And if you do, I will give some of that gold to your father. So Penelope, she says, okay, I'll try. And she starts dancing around. Show me how you would dance if you, oh, hi, he got a haircut. <laughs> All right, dance around. And then she comes over and she looks. <gasps> Guess what? That straw has not been turned into gold. So she starts crying. <laughs> she starts crying. How would you cry if you were trying to turn straw into gold and this king was trying to make you do it, but you didn't know how? All right, just then, a funny little man appears. <laughs> and he says, would you like my help? And she says, well, of course. He says, well, I can turn that pile of straw into gold, but what will you give me? And she says, well, I have nothing to give you except for this necklace. And he says, very well. Okay, so we have to help. Are you ready? We're gonna turn that straw into gold. Here is our move. Are you ready? It is, stand up. You guys have to help me do this. Ready, round your arms, first position feet, plie. We're gonna do four little sautés. Ready? One, two, three, four. Now jump out to second position. One, really bend those knees and get up. Two, three, four. Two, a chape. A chape, a chape. Now watch. In and up and cross to the new. Should we try it? Let's see if we can turn that straw into gold for poor Penelope. Here we go. Ready? First position. Go. Don't let your arms move. Two, three, four. Jump to second. One, two, three, four. In and out. A shape. A shape. In and out. Ready? Sit to move. All right. Let's see if it worked. Are you ready? Look. So she looks over at the pile of straw, and all of a sudden, guess what happens? <gasps> It turns into gold. Can you believe it? You guys must have magical powers. Well, she is so happy. And then the king comes in and says, oh my goodness, I cannot believe that pile of gold. I'm going to give some to your father. But, oh, I have an idea. I'm gonna put you in a room with even more straw so we can get even more gold. 
and he goes away and he puts her in another room. This time there's even more straw. And she's so scared because she doesn't know if she can turn that into straw again. But she starts to dance and she tries. Everybody dance, try to turn it into gold. Turn it into gold. And she does some runs and leaps. She's running and leaping. Try to turn it into gold. Uh-oh. Let's see, did it work? No, it didn't work. Oh no, so she starts crying again. Everybody cry. <laughs> and then before long, guess who appears? <gasps> that funny little man. And he says, well, let me guess. You need my help, right? She says, yes, I need your help. He says, well, if I turn that straw into gold, what will you give me? And she says, well, all I have is this beautiful ring. Will you take that? He says, well, yes. So once again, he stands up. Everybody stand up. Are you ready? Let's see if we can turn it into gold. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, second. One, two, three, four, and then up. And out. Eight, so, okay, here's our hand and up. And soon to do. Let's see if it worked. Are you ready? Okay, let's see if your magic powers work. There's the straw. One, two, three. Oh, you did it again. Even more gold. So the king, of course, is super duper happy. And he says, okay, well, that is amazing. But now I have a room with even more straw and you're going to get even more gold if you can turn it into straw. And this time, I will make you my queen. So, she, he takes her to another room and there's a ton of straw this time. So she is trying so hard to figure out how does that little man do it? How does he turn that straw into gold? And she doesn't know, but she starts crying again. <laughs> and who comes along but that funny little man? And he says, okay, let me guess. Do you need my help this time again? She says, oh, yes, but what will you give me? She says, I have nothing left to give you, but if I turn that straw into gold, the king will make me his queen, and then I can give you all the riches in the world. Maddie, it's okay if they listen to you. It's okay. Okay, so he says, no. I don't want all the riches in the world. I want your firstborn child. And she says, well, I don't really want to give away my baby, but I don't even have a baby yet. So, okay, whatever you say. So one last time, will you guys help me turn that straw into gold? Stand up. Are you ready? First position. Let's see if we can do it. Biggest pile yet. One, two, three. Four, jump to second. Arms around your legs, point your toes, and those knees, reach your hips, in and out, in and out, in and out, and soon to do, cross your hands. All right, let's see if our magic works. One last time, everybody. There's that monstrous pile of straw. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Whoa, look at all the gold. You guys have lots of magical powers. So of course the king is so happy that he marries Penelope and they live and a lot of time passes and then eventually Penelope has a cute little baby. Goo goo gaga. Look her baby's as big as she is. He was a big baby. <laughs> well one day look who comes in to visit and he says okay I'm ready to take your baby. And she says, no, please have mercy. I have all of these, all this gold and jewels. You can have anything you want. He said, no, we agreed. I was going to take your baby. And he said, well, he started feeling kind of bad because she's crying and crying. And he said, well, I'll give you two days. If you can guess my name, I... We'll go away and leave you alone. 
and he is secretly laughing because he has a very weird name. Who remembers his name? Do you remember it? It's kind of a funny name. So she thinks really long and hard. Hmm, is his name Joe? No, it can't be that, is it? Snake eyes? No, is it crocodile head? No, she thinks of all these weird names and she can't come up with anything and so she starts getting worried. So she tells the king's messenger to look out for a funny little man and tell me if you can figure out his name. Well, that night, dancing around a fire, there is a king's messenger and he sees this funny little man dancing around a fire singing. He says, Today I brew, tomorrow I make. Then I will show everybody that Rumpelstiltskin is my name. And the king's messenger comes back and he tells Penelope, I know what that funny little man's name is. His name is Rumpelstiltskin. So that night when that funny little man comes back, he says, let me see, Have, can you guess my name? And she says, well, is it Joe? He says, no. Is it Snake Eyes? No. The only other name I can guess is Rumpelstiltskin. And he gets so mad that he starts jumping, 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 jumping. And he jumps so hard and so fast that he jumps a hole down into the earth and disappears forever. <laughs> and she gets to keep her baby and she's married to the king and her father has lots of riches and the baby and the gold and they all live happily ever after. The end. <laughs> Did you like my silly story? Yes. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, it was so fun to be with you today. Thanks for helping me turn that straw into gold. All right. Hey, let's finish with our little reverence to say goodbye to everybody. And then guess what? Next week is our very last class. I know. And then we're going to be opening up the studio. So I'll send your parents notes about that. We're gonna have lots of safety measures in place to make sure everybody keeps their distance and you guys all stay healthy and safe. Um, and we're gonna figure out our Peter Pan performance too. And so I will send your parents notes about that. All right, everybody stand up, let's finish. Ready, stand in first position. Tip your feet, round your arms, ready, take a breath. Miss Dina, today is at my musical theater class. Yes. Bye. 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 B